Welcome to another video from Greenery Technology. In this video, we're going to cover creating an ISO storage repository utilizing an existing local storage repository. Now, this is something uh, that is an issue with Citrix Zen Server the fact that in order to use an ISO, you have to create a separate storage repository either on an NFS share or a Windows SIF share. So, in this video, we're actually going to run through creating the ISO repository using a folder within our local storage repository where our VMs are stored. Alright, so we're in our Zen Center as you can see. So we'll go ahead and jump back to our host and we'll go to our console. And I have my console session open. We're just going to run through a few commands to actually create this storage repository. Alright, so the first command we need to run is df dash h and this is going to give us the folder structure all right so as we can see our local storage is actually this var run sr mount string and so this is where our local storage repository is actually located so we're going to utilize that so we're just going to change our directory to that particular folder so cd var run sr dash mount and then the string in this case i'm able to use tab completion all right and so here we can see our virtual hard drives are here um, so after that we'll go ahead and run the following command which would be to just create a folder in this case, I'm just going to name it ISO. It can be named anything you want. All right, we'll run an ls command to view that the folder is there. All right, and I'll go ahead and run a pwd just to get the, the full string of our current directory, um, which will be using the next command, which is going to actually create the storage repository and attach it to that folder. So be X E S R dash create space name dash label equals in our case ISO. This is actually simply just the display name. It can be something else. So in this case I'll just change it to uh, GRT ISO so that you know that it doesn't have to be the same name as the particular folder. All right, and we need type equals ISO device dash config colon location equals, and at this point, we're going to provide the full path for where our folder is on the Zen server operating system. So it will be var run sr mount. 6BB and unfortunately I can't use tab completion so that was why I grabbed the full PWD as well as it's since we're working from that directory it's there as well so what I can actually do is should be able to copy and paste the rest All right, in this case, I copied one too many Bs. So I'll just remove that. And we'll finish out the command of device dash config colon legacy underscore mode equals true content dash type equals ISO. So before we run that command, I'll go ahead and jump back to my Zen Center just so you can see that there's no particular storage repository already with this name that's been added. So we'll jump back and we will go ahead and follow up the command. And as we can see, checking my syntax that I misspelled true. So we'll go ahead and jump back up. 
and rename all right and in this case I also forget to provide the full path for the folder So this was under the device dash config location. I provided just the storage repository location and not the full path to the folder I just created. All right, so now the command completed successfully and provided us with the UUID of the new storage repository. So I'll go ahead and run one more command just to view it from the command line, which be xesr dash list. And I'll go ahead and run that one more time just to clear up the output. So here we can see our new storage repository has been created. All right, so we'll jump back to our Zen Center just to see that the repository has been created. GRT underscore ISO, type of ISO, appropriate UUID, connect it. All right, storage. We don't have anything yet on the storage. We'll go ahead and run that command to grab something put it in our storage all right and I'm just going to use uh, an Ubuntu ISO from the web just to finish this out and grab some input all right and I actually want to change my directory to the ISO just to drop it in there. Alright, and just going to paste that again. And it's going to gr grab an Ubuntu ISO that I'll use to just to verify that the storage repository is working properly. Alright, let's go ahead and run ls, verify it's there. Mini.iso. Alright, and I've created a test machine just to make sure it, it mounts properly but before we do that let's jump to our storage repository and hit a rescan all right our mini ISO shows up jump back to the demo VM come to our console mount the mini ISO and we'll go ahead and power on this VM all right and so we can see it's come successfully to our Ubuntu installer um, so our ISO is mounted properly so what we wound up doing was just utilizing exi existing space on our local storage storage repository and just pulled that out to use for our ISO repository um, so much like any, any of you that have worked with VMware, you have the option to just add the ISO to an existing data store. It's the same concept. Um, hope this video was helpful, and go ahead and check out the Green Tech website for more information.